Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to retrieve a soft plastic jerk bait. Now, soft plastic jerk baits are really good for inshore fishing, so it's really important to know how to work this thing. Uh, I've never personally, I've never personally used these a lot because you know I've never really had any interest in them. You know, I've always, uh, I've always caught my fish on paddle tail jigs and stuff like that, and uh, Berkeley shrimp. Uh, gulp shrimp and stuff like that so I've never really tried a jerk bait but I'm gonna start trying them soon because I know people catch a lot of fish on them so today I'm gonna show you how to retrieve it and or today so today I'm gonna show you how to retrieve it the most effective way possible so let's get started alright guys uh, I'm a bit wet because I did set up an underwater camera for this tutorial just to show you how to how it looks underwater so basically what you're gonna do I'm just gonna drop it in here I'm going to switch to the underwater cam. Alright, so I'm just going to lightly tap it like that off the bottom. Just like that. Boom. So it's really effective. So really, in a really cool way to retrieve this bait. And pretty much the best way to retrieve this bait. So I'm just going to do that again. Back up a little bit. because. How you retrieve it, just lightly twist the rod like that. Light, lightly twist the rod. It's all on the wrist, you don't have to you know, use all your arms, so it's, you know, it doesn't take much energy to do this. Jig heads I would recommend to use for this. For jig heads I would recommend to use for this jerk bait, or any jerk bait, uh, soft plastic jerk bait, um, is one with a flat head right there, which is, well, this is a round head, but like a flat head. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. I'll probably just leave a picture on the screen there for you. But a flat head jig head is the best way to do this because it'll land like perfectly flat on the bottom and it'll kind of just stand up on the bottom and it'll just look more effect it'll just look uh, more realistic and it'll be more effective because this will kind of just you know roll over because it's a round head but you know I'm only leaving it there for a half a second on the bottom so it still works great now what you don't want to do is that you know just I mean, it'll still be effective, but, you know, it'll just kind of go crazy, and it'll, like, nosedive, and then it'll, like, fall backwards. See what I mean? See, it'll kind of just, like, do, a, do like, a 360 rotation. Just, a, like, a front 360. So don't, like, jig it off the bottom too, uh, too... You don't want to dig it off the bottom too much, but just enough to where you can get it off the bottom like that. And what I like to do, I like to just, just cast out again. So what I like to do, I like to do two twitches. And on the second twitch, I'm just going to, I'm not going to let it fall on the slack. I'm not going to let slack fall, let it fall. I'm going to let it just like kind of slide down and I'm just going to let the tension on the line just guide it down towards the bottom like that. So that is also very effective. And that is how you retrieve a soft plastic jerkbait. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and see you guys later.